So I was coming home the other day and a friend of my house is a, a lot of young people hang out from where I live uh, like that. Most of them up to no good. We won't get into that right now. Anyway, uh, there was about uh, five people, one, oh, one, one, one guy I talked to all the time, older guy, uh, just a little bit older. Uh, he asked me about, oh, he was worried about uh, the thing about Trump and, and, and Korea and stuff like that. And I said, look, stop listening to the news. Don't pay any attention to that, okay? Uh, you know, what's, 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 here's the thing. Uh, the, I'm gonna, let me do it this way. The Anglo racist white supremacist, their whole planet wide thing, it's a worldwide system, you know, they're about extracting, you know, minerals and stuff from, 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 from land areas and, and just ripping, just, just, just land grabs and stuff like that um, for, for their own wealth. North Korea is loaded with minerals, okay? All kinds of precious stuff, okay? Simple as that. China's not gonna let it happen. No matter what the US do with Japan, whatever have you, South Korea's not even gonna let it happen, okay? Because they've, they've been, they know what it is to have war be bombed or whatever it is. But I need to, 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 to do something here. Because uh, uh, sh as most people know, the Charlottesville, you know, Virginia, let me just say, the Charlottesville, Virginia, has, stuff has happened there. Um, uh, let me just be real official here, uh, just so you know, I'm not perpetrating a fraud, right? Yes, my residency is in Virginia, <laughs> the other side of the state. Now, Charlottesville um, is, is, is the other side of the state. Uh, it's, cl it's close to West Virginia, okay? And it's also, um, um, but I wanted to say something that that's, uh, to me is really, really interesting. Donald Trump said something about, uh, you know, if they take down Robert E. Lee, said, what are they going to do next, take down George Washington? Now, people don't get that, but when, 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 when somebody like Trump talks, there's codes happening here, okay? There's codes happening here. You do understand that uh, in Westmoreland County, Virginia, that's the birthplace of both Yes, George Washington and Robert E. Lee. And Robert E. e. Lee, remember, he was like second in his class at West Point or something like that, you know. So let's, let's just, it's all the same people. Okay, cool. But that's not what I want to, I don't even want to talk about Donald Trump, okay? Because as, as you may or may not know, you've been listening to any, any particular point, I say Donald Trump is just the Frankenstein head on this, you know, on the, on, on, on the body, the body, the Frankenstein monster that is a Republican point. Well, the, the, the established parties, both Republican and Democrat, don't, I don't make any difference with them. And, and, and this has been going on for years. I want to go just to one sliver in the time that I personally know about. And this is the presidency of Ronald Reagan. Okay? Now, when Ronald Reagan was first, uh, when he announced his presidency, he was in a southern state, and you look it up, but, you know, a heavy Confederate, you know, the, the Confederate thing, you know, with the, all the reactionary people. That's where he announced his candidacy. He ran, he, he got elected, right? Now, Check this. Right before the second election, the second election was in, in 84, right? 80 was then, so 84, right before us, like what happened, right? There was a whole thing with, with the Middle East and Beirut and all the rest of that stuff. And um, right before that election, the second election, um, there, there was a, the, the, the Marines were bombed, the Marines barracks were bombed in Beirut. And then there, there was a meeting at the White House with all these generals or whatever it is. Um, on a Sunday, I clearly remember it was on a Sunday. Okay, and you know everybody's thinking, well, they 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 they're talking about you know how they're gonna react to Beirut and da da da. And I think it was like a Tuesday. Somewhere I'm gonna say a Tuesday. That next Tuesday, what happened? They invaded Grenada. People. They invaded and they invaded a black country. Maurice Bishop was the, was, was was the head of that country. Uh, what's that other guy? Uh, whatever he was, uh, his name escapes me. I don't even want to say his name. Cord, Bernard Cord. You know, um, uh, there's an interesting fact about that, and it relates to uh, Thomas and Goddard and what happened there. But I won't get into that right now. Okay, so he relates. He does that because the bodies that were coming back from 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 Beirut, they were mixed in with the little bit of bodies that came back. You know, Marines that that were killed at the invasion of Grenada in, in the Caribbean. Uh, they were mixed together. So the news, I, you know, so I just want to point that out. Then he was elected the next term, right, in 84. Right after he was elected, a very interesting thing happened.
And I clearly remember because my job at the time, I was uh, I was doing a lot of engineering for WBAI Radio in New York, Pacifica Radio in New York, and uh, which means I take a lot, a lot of news feeds down, and, and I, I learned a lot on doing this. But what happened? He took this trip to uh, it was a Bitburg. It was like a, a a German cemetery that 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 a lot of um, a lot of SS troops were buried. And I was curious. I'm like, what the what the heck? What's what's going on here? You know, President of the United States goes in an official trip, lays a reef to the grave of some, you know, some SS guys, some, some, you know, the so-called, you know, the evilest people on the planet at the time, you know, even though I say that the Prussians were, I'm going get that. Um, I'm trying to figure this out. And then, then I realized, remember, he's, he, he, it's like a, sending a message to the, the, the system, I'm not talking about, forget individuals, the system of what I call Anglo-Racist White Supremacy is a system worldwide. Now, he, he started by, by, by activating, you know, those little bit of troops of, let's call them the, the stormtroopers, uh, you know, stormtroopers of, of Anglo-Racist White Supremacy in, 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 in the States, right? He, 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 he proves his um, worldwide benefit, uh, bona fides, whatever you call it, but credentials against black people by uh, uh, crushing a, 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 a black nation, you know, a uh, black country, a sovereign black country, and, and you know, and it's under the British Commonwealth, so the British had something to say about that, right? Now, Margaret Thatcher didn't say anything in, in, in public. She forgot what she did, but in, she was, you know, the, the Prime Minister of Britain at the time. Now, but in, in private, she said, hey, you shouldn't be doing that, but it happened, right? Then, what's he do? The next ne international thing he does, he tells, again, he tells the world, worldwide system of Anglo racist white supremacy, hey, I'm with you guys. Boom. It's a message. So this whole thing that's happening right now, it's just a speck in time. This is a continuum. And, and to me, what's, what, to, to, when I look at this stuff, you know, looking in my life and what, you know, what I've seen in my life, I'm not talking about what I heard, what I've seen, right? I would say that if something's going to happen with North Korea or whatever it is, you know what I mean? And this stuff is happening in Charlottesville. Did, because, you know, I, I see, you know, Trump making all kinds of, of other things are happening. You know, he's doing this with this hand and that with that hand, saying this and that. that. People getting upset and they're oh, white supremacist, oh, no, no. Please. It's, it's, it's not just one white supremacist here or somebody marching with some khakis and some, you know, some uh, centrinella torches and stuff like that. These, these, these troops, they don't even know what they're doing. Well, maybe they do know what they're doing. But ultimately, ultimately, this thing is about land grabs, this thing about putting um, um, uh, people in their place, using your troops against it, and the, and the puppet masters are doing what they're doing. Look, I have to tell you, say what you will, but Ronald Reagan did his thing, stepped up the game, and Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, in charge of the biggest military in the world, that's all I got to say. It's, it's, just, it's just, look, I'm just a lone boy. It's just me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.